Hi everyone, my name is Mohit Gupta and I am working as a machine learning engineer in geeks for geeks So today I'll be giving you a brief introduction about machine learning. So what actually machine learning is? Machine learning is the ability of a machine to learn without being explicitly programmed. For example, Google self-driving car, AlphaGo, cat versus dog example, Titanic example. In all these cases, what we are doing is we are using machine learning. For example, you are given some images of animals where we have cat and dog and your machine learning model has to predict whether this image has a cat or a dog. Then you have to train your machine learning models. You can also predict whether a cell has cancer cells or not. In that case, you take the images, you train your models on both the cells having cancer as well as those which are not having cancers and then you check. You train your model and your model will predict whether this person is having cancer or not. In case of Google self-driving car, where the team has trained the machine learning model on different instances and now it's learning by itself, the more you drive that car, the more understanding it is getting from the real world scenario. In case of AlphaGo, it is a kind of a chess game where a bot is actually competing with the real human and is actually winning the game. It had said so many records till now. So these are all very basic and very trending examples of machine learning. Now the very basic question that comes into mind is that if machine learning is booming so much then do we need programmers? Is there any need to be stick on the basic programming stuff that we have? So the very basic answer is yes we still need programming. Let's take an example of a calculator. So if you are designing a calculator, do you think that in that case machine learning will be much more powerful than programming? The answer is no. For example, you are performing the operations 1 plus 2. Then the answer is 3. Now if you are using normal programming, in that case this operation is being performed in O of 1 complexity, right? Because we are using normal programming and we are performing normal arithmetic operation. Now if we have to perform this addition operation like 1 plus 2, then the answer is 3. But the input that we are giving is in English language. So in that case, if we have prepared such test cases in our uh, program, then it will handle. Otherwise, it will fail. So we can add these test cases to our normal programming also. Okay. In that case, normal programming was better than machine learning because machine learning model has to train. It will take time. It will take computation. So why to spend so much time and so much computation when we can perform this in O of 1. But in this case, it's dependent on the programmer, whether the programmer has feed these test cases or not. Suppose I am saying that the programmer has set these test cases also. Now if a person adds 1 plus 2 in Roman, then the answer is whether the programmer has feed that test case in its program or not. So these are the cases where we have to see whether we should stick to our programming or we should go to machine learning. In this case, what we can do is if we apply a machine learning model and we train we have to train our model and we train our model in different test cases then there is a possibility that without feeding this test case to our machine learning model without explicitly programming it it can actually learn that this means 2 and the addition operation is 3. So this is why machine learning is used where we cannot feed all the test cases to our programs. Now let's understand about learning in machine learning. So this term machine learning means where when the machine is learning without being explicitly programmed, right? But what actually learning is? Let's take a very basic example. You all have gone to school where you have been studying different lectures and then you have to go for your examination, your results come. So what is actually happening is you go to your class, your teacher gives you question answers, right? So you study over there that different questions, different answers. You have these notes that you have prepared in your class lectures. Okay, so these are your notes. Now, before examinations, 
or when you come to your school uh, after school you go to your tuitions or when you study what you actually do is you train your brain okay so this is your brain this is your model so you train your brain on this training data this data that you have actually prepared in your class these are your class notes or the notes that your teacher has given to you so you train using your you train while studying you train your brain and when uh, you are done you go to your examinations in your examination you get a question paper where you have questions in that okay and using this previous knowledge that you have gained while studying you answer these questions okay this is the time of testing and this is the time of training now based on the knowledge that you have acquired in training you answer these questions so this is your answer sheet okay now what your examin examiner does is after your examination is over it take your answer sheets and then he or she compares your answer sheet with the actual answer key of that question paper right this was the actual answer key and these are the answers given by you and then your examination your examiner compare these two things and tell your result if you have answered all the questions in your answer sheet according to the answer key then your score is 100% or otherwise it will calculate as per your performance this is how we actually train our models as well you have trained your brain here so the model was your brain but in case of machine learning we have a computer with us in that case we feed data to our model okay now your data can have both input and output or it can have only input let's take a general example where we have both input as well as output okay so these question and answers are now being said as input and output now this is your machine learning model which is your computer okay now you have to train this model so while training you give this input and output and while training your model will come up with a logic based on the data you have given to it now using this logic while we are testing our model we are again giving some inputs okay this question is input and now this using this knowledge which knowledge logic using this logic it will predict some answers it will predict some output so this is the prediction part you are taking the exam of your machine learning model and it's predicting that this input should have this output now you have actual output with you okay and using this actual output and this is the predicted output you compare both these and you again come up with the result so this will be the performance of your machine learning model in case of google self driving car they have given the test cases to the model and in that case your model was car okay and in that case your input can be numeric input can be images can be sound these were given to the car the car will train will drive and will learn and while testing we again drive our car and that car will perform and that performance will be compared with the actual performance and we say that google self driving car is this much accurate so this is how actually learning works this is how actually we train a machine learning model and it's learn without being explicitly code we just feed in these input and outputs the model by itself gets the logic and using that logic it will predict so what we have to see is the learning part that model has done how accurate this logic was and how we do so we compare the performance with the actual output we have so this is how machine learning works it's very basic and but it's deep as well so you have to understand your scenario where we have to use machine learning whether it's actually useful to use over there or not so this was all for this lecture so if you like this video do like share and subscribe also comment down below 
For any information, you can follow the link given in the description box.